We are in Gaithersburg, Maryland, here at the Gaithersburg train station in the center of town, waiting on, well, any train, but a Capital Limited, number 29, out of Washington, D.C., and you are looking eastbound. Uh, on the CSX Brunswick line towards the uh, the train station uh, that is points actually you're looking westbound uh, westbound towards uh, the areas of Martinsburg West Virginia Brunswick Maryland and points west towards uh, Elkhart Chicago uh, and on west and here we have the old B&O car uh, is now owned by the uh, by the city of Gaithersburg uh, here it's open uh, generally on the weekends not uh, not on Sunday so much um, take you guys for a tour when we come back on a Saturday and it is a hot humid day here in sunny Gaithersburg Maryland for those of you who want to google it you can google Gaithersburg it is uh, 25 ish miles from Washington DC and north and west of Washington DC and this is the community museum here. Take you guys for a tour of that when they're open. Some good activities, uh, some uh, old rail equipment, some old cars up here as you can see. They're all open to the public when they're open. And the old steam engine, which has been here for as long as I've been here. Um, and we get to the rail station there, which is uh, active. Um, lots of uh, commuters. We have the uh, the commuters uh, for the Mark train uh, that uh, go through here Monday through Friday uh, from uh, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Uh, coming east with stopping points here in Gaithersburg, Rockville, Silver Spring, and of course on into Union Station. Here's a better view of the, of the park here. Um, Gaithersburg is an old town, old farming town. Um, certainly grown up a lot over the years. Um, you can see for the, the museum um, here on this side, shade here, you guys will be able to see it a little better. And here we are, track side. And this direction you are looking east towards Washington, D.C., Silver Spring, Rockville. And going around that bend, uh, you end up in a little teeny little tiny town called Washington Grove which is actually to the left of the tracks, but it's be over on this side. And that is the uh, town where they used to have uh, uh, old camp meetings back in, the, uh, back in the early days. So Amtrak will be coming from Union Station, coming this way, um, going to Chicago, which is down there. Uh, Elkhart, for those of you who watch uh, Virtual Rail Fan, uh, you uh, you can see the Elkhart station, Amtrak station, and all the Norfolk Southern freight coming out of there. Um, this is a CSX line. This is the Brunswick line here. Um, mostly during the week, there is there is traffic, uh, depending on what time of day you catch the traffic. Let me turn around here. Hi guys and gals. Um, traffic is um, commuter in the afternoons and evenings 
Amtrak comes through here about 4.30, 5 o'clock, depending on whether it's running on time. Um, there is um, I am General Freight. Uh, there is a trash train that runs uh, daily, I think at least once daily, I'm not sure, it could be twice, uh, from uh, that, that direction down there. And uh, most of the freight here runs at night. It doesn't run, a lot of freight does run during the day, but most of it runs at night. Uh, kind of a mixed bag, it's all CSX. This is the, the Brunswick line here. And going towards DC, you get into Union Station points, uh, from Union Station points north, you can take the Camden line to Dorsey, Columbia, Laurel, Maryland, or you can take the Northeast Corridor and run uh, to Baltimore, Maryland, uh, and Philadelphia, New York, and points west from there. Uh, it's a neat travel. Uh, if you guys uh, like the videos and we get enough subscribers, I will come out and do uh, live live feeds, for live streams for you guys on a busy day. Like I say, right now we're waiting for our Amtrak Capital Limited not number 29 to come in through here. Let's let's hope she gets here. Um, here you're looking at the uh, Robertson home. Uh, it's a kind of a shelter for uh, for people who are in need of. A bit of assistance and over there past those trees is the Gaithersburg post office and we are waiting should be here in about another oh I don't know about 20 minutes we should be getting a train hopefully we'll get one anyway maybe we'll get a freighter if we're lucky guys so anyway um, hope you guys check out the website um, rayonkins.org uh, all the videos will be posted there as well as here on YouTube and uh, hopefully we can grow the channel like I say we need we need a thousand subscribers to get uh, to get live feeds um, so for those of you who are interested please uh, please check out the site and let me know in the comments that there are places around the area where you guys want to see some uh, some cool trains coming by um, and uh, if I know the history of the town I'll give it to you certainly uh, of course, you can you know you can do Wikipedia on that. Here's a good sign uh, of uh, of things here, and then going down this way. And speaking of which, as we're walking west, um, if you guys have ideas, you know places uh, like Frederick or um, Brunswick where the yard is, that'd be a good tour. You guys might like that. I'll uh, take it take you up there. This is the uh, the train station here that we're passing. The other side of it came in on the parked on the other side. And then as we're walking down here, um, you can see the uh, the system map. So if any of you travel in from the into D.C. Washington D.C., there's the metro the subway, uh, and that's the layout for. Um, the uh, mark train as you can see there and it gives you all the information about timetables which of course you guys will be able to get online if you uh, if you're coming into the uh, into the city here um, Metro is pretty good take you to Shady Grove Metro to get you here and then just take the bus or an uber or Lyft and you'll be able to uh, to get where you want to be up here um, and then here we have the train station, still in use by commuters for the Mark trains. And of course there's a coffee shop. Um, there's a park there. Here's another view of the, uh, the steam engine that you guys might like. Um, Mystery Park there, get you guys a close up. So. Um, And we are looking over here, a little bit better view of the town. Uh, that parking garage has been built over the years and it's been expanded. There are apartments in there. There are also, uh, it used to be a Southern States supply 
used to be there we're about where that uh, crossing gate is a little bit to the beyond where that tree and city hall is over there beyond that tree and that shell station and hopefully we're going to catch the capital limit here in a few minutes um, so a little bit more about me here um been train watching for oh i don't know since i was probably uh, a toddler old enough to old enough to know know what a train was um we uh came out with my grandfather and we were uh we'd go watch the trains the trains together Kind of a kind of one of those uh, things you do when you're a kid. You get excited and you're passing by, and you go, "Wow, that'd be that'd be kind of a neat idea." And we we'd come out, we'd watch the trains. Um, and then as I got older, I started taking pictures of the uh, of the trains. And then finally, over the recent over recent years, I figured I said, "You know, I need to start saving up and get a GoPro." Got a GoPro. Um, and here we are, uh, taking, taking some pictures, taking some video today. Um, and I'll take pictures of this for you guys and put it on the, uh, on the website. And there's a link to my website down there too. Um, if any of you guys, I want to give a big shout out to, uh, Virtual Rail Fan. Uh, I'm a member of Virtual Rail Fan. If any of you guys aren't, I encourage you to become a member of Virtual Rail Fan. It's a fantastic 24-hour um, uh, live stream. I think there's, if you're a paid paying member, I think it's about 40, 49 or 50 cams. Uh, live 24 hours a day, you get to see pretty much uh, uh, all kinds of anything from IM to passenger to uh, uh, the uh, like the Norfolk Southern heritage um, heritage trains that you see running around it's hard to catch them sometimes especially up here uh, being on the CSX line you don't get to see a lot of them um, so big shout out to them um, the other the other thing I want to actually the other person I want to give a shout out to two people actually um, for those of you who are who are not familiar, uh, and you might be because he's very popular, get out of the get away from the sun here. Um, is uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, one of my favorite train people, and that is Hobo Shoestring. I love that guy. Uh, big shout outs to you. I love your videos. I've been following you for a long time on uh, on YouTube and. Uh, um, uh, I hope you in, uh, hope you enjoy the uh, the hobo uh, convention out there in Britta, Iowa. Haven't been out there in a long time. It's a fun event. If you guys are, you don't have to be a hobo to be there, but it's a it's a fun event. I've been there in I don't know, 20 years. Um, and another shout out I want to give to uh, a guy I don't know his name. Um, ran out in a rail. Uh, is the name of his. Uh, name he uses on here on YouTube um, big shout out to him uh, his recent video was uh, cutting across the Sonoran Desert uh, absolutely amazing uh, I don't know if I'd do it uh, I'd probably do some train hopping uh, if I didn't have a, a regular job and uh, yeah, didn't uh, didn't want to get arrested but uh, probably do some train hopping if I uh, if I could uh, retirement plan possibly but uh, anyway big shout out to him big shout out also to uh, to GoPro um, for their uh, for this GoPro 9 it's fantastic I love it um, and I'll put a link in the description to uh, shoestring and uh, ran out in the rail his uh, to their uh, their YouTube sites make some really good stuff um, uh, got to support uh, support the community and we are getting close to about 10 minutes before this thing finally uh, finally comes through here. 
and hopefully we will get the capital and it'll be on time not always sometimes it's running late depends on what uh, CSX is doing insofar as the um, as far as freight traffic over there um, you're looking at the old grain mill which is now uh, retail uh, and South uh, House Garden is a restaurant bar. It's not open yet. Don't know if, when it's going to open. Um, and that that was a grain mill back when I was growing up 40 years ago. Give away my age. And it's, uh, it's retail. Um, that space where that bar is going to be at some point is quite big and you can actually sit inside the lower end over here and actually watch uh, watch the trains come by if you're uh, if you're if you're interested uh, Amtrak should be on this first line here this is track one that's track two and this is the old siding here um, it's been been gone for oh many years and then they put that uh, car in there it's been remodeled it's a little museum kind of in a of its own um, certainly worth coming coming to visit if you're uh, if you're ever visiting Washington DC and you want to take a detour to to the suburbs this is it and that's all relatively new uh, apartments up there that you're looking at um, um, not uh, not historic by any means the granary here is historic it uh, actually caught fire Oh, 20, 25, 30 years ago, and that awning there used to be um, uh, docks for the grain cars to come in, and they'd fill up there. And there's big grain towers going up here, but they—you uh, can see part of it. There's one of them there. They—it uh, burned up, and then the guy who bought it um, remodeled it and now rents it out for. for uh, retail um, but this has been numerous restaurants and bars over the years um, really miss hanging out there the other bar which is behind me um, if you see over here between the car and this tree just above the the caboose there was uh, was growlers that was a great restaurant um, that building and I'll take you on a tour at some point hopefully it'll ever open uh, they uh, they they closed down years ago, about three years ago. It was uh, it was Growlers. It was a pub. Great, great beer, great food. Um, management's changed over the years for a variety of reasons. Uh, that building was built in 1895, 1896. Um, historic. Can't tear it down. But uh, it was a post office. It was a bank, I think, back in the day. It was a pizza joint. A long time ago as well so uh, it's a just a just a fantastic um, place to go uh, the beer was the beer was good the food was good it's a good place for locals around here we'd all hang out and about three years ago it closed down and management just got to be uh, I guess just didn't care who knows anyway so uh, but if they ever open I'll take you guys for a tour in there and uh, hopefully pop out and catch a couple trains. Uh, the other good spot to catch a train, maybe hard to see, there's a br cross a bridge, a walk walking bridge over there that goes into that car, um, the parking lot, public parking. And uh, that's a good place to actually watch the trains. Uh, the only problem with that is that it's fenced in up there, obviously, so people don't jump off there. But, uh, um, it's uh, it's okay for video, but again, you got the fence, you know, the chain link fence going in there, and that's that's really no fun. So, uh, but I'll take you for a walk up there, um, maybe after this uh, this uh, Amtrak train comes. And uh, but uh, Gaithersburg is a beautiful town. It's it's kind of uh, it's grown a lot over the years. Um, one thing that hasn't changed is the trains running through here. Um, like I say, if you're ever visiting, the weekends are pretty good. 
you got a commuter train and on the weekdays trash train that runs once from here to Dickerson and that's um, really the only two things that would interfere if you guys are looking for various types of freight trains or things you'd be the only thing you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to, uh, to see so hopefully we'll get something here soon on this hazy hot humid day Make sure you guys check out uh, my website. There's a link to it, uh, rayyonkins.org. Uh, you'll see all the videos. There's also space, um, if you guys, any of you guys are uh, stopping by, watching the trains, but you like um, uh, space-related um, videos, if you're, especially if you're into SpaceX, I have uh, videos up there from um, NASA Spaceflight on the website. Uh, great bunch great bunch of guys and gals um, doing the uh, covering uh, all things SpaceX all right guys sorry about that the camera's getting a little hot um, Amtrak is on the way so here we go Limited. Going to the right. And there is the Capital Limited. Anyway, guys, the uh, the camera got a little too hot, so I had to shut it off. So it cut me off in the last part of the video. But uh, anyway, that's a quick tour. If you guys like it, you know what to do.